So you have purchased your iPhone 15 and now you want to make it a bit more customized and you want to change the wallpaper. How do you go about that? Well, this is exactly my case and although this wallpaper is kind of nice, I want to have it my own. So I'm going to explain to you how the wallpaper pairs work in iOS 17 because it's a bit more different and like nuance and stuff. So you should know about it. First of all, you need to make sure that you have some wallpaper ready. So for example, I have this one and downloaded. If you don't have wallpaper ready, there are some uh, wallpapers available by default on the iPhone. And if not, just look up to Google like wallpapers for iPhone and see if there are any free available or paid or whatever. Just get some of them and we can move on. Then what we gotta do is to open up these settings. And as you are somewhere at the top, just scroll down and find the wallpaper section. So you can see wallpaper is right here. I'm gonna click on that. And the way it works, as I touched on it a little bit in the beginning, is that you have wallpaper pairs. You, you cannot just set it up like the way that it used to be, that you set it up for the lock screen and then home screen in like independently of each other. It doesn't work that way. So let's say I, I keep this current wallpaper pair as it is. I'm going to slide over and create a new one. So click on the plus icon and I can create a brand new one. So I have some featured designs so I can use, for example, the collections or emojis, weather, the earth, moon, whatever I want. You can see even other planets. So these look nice. So you can do that if you want. So that's okay. However, if you scroll down a bit more, you have more designs. But what we want to do in our case is to use the photo. So click on a photo like that and choose this one, which is the only one I have available. So this looks very good. Now, as I have it on the home screen, I have two options because you can see the nature of this wallpaper is to be a, like a mountain. So it's like a 3D effect. You can see that the edge of the mountain is covering the time a little bit. And this is called the depth effect. I mean, it looks nice, but you can disable it if you want. If you click on the lower portion of the screen, you can turn off the depth effect and now the entire time is visible. Plus you have option to add some widgets here. If you just come here and click create the depth effect, the widgets are no longer available. Also, as you are in here, you can just use your two fingers and like zoom the wallpaper or move it around, pinch to crop it or whatever to decide how exactly you want to have it. So once you have this set up, you can just swipe through the available filters if you want them. So there are like four of them available, or you can even customize them a bit more, but I like the original one, of course. So I'm just going to click on add, and this is for the home screen. And now here's the important part. Since it is the wallpaper pair, what about the home screen? By default, you can set a wallpaper pair where the home screen is going to have the same thing, but blurry. So if you click on the blink, big blue button, you get the uh, lock screen, which looks like this, the normal that we have set up. And the home screen is going to be the same picture but blurred out but instead you can click on customize home screen and choose something else for the home screen instead of this blurry image so you can just choose it to be like a color which is going to be like a specific one which you can customize and go to the all colors view and basically choose any color available from all of them that's an option as well or you can choose the gradient which looks nice as well or you can just click on the photos and perhaps edit again. So you might have it on the home screen as well as on the lock screen. It's just, this is not really a problem, but I'm going to hit cancel. I don't want to have it the same. So I'm just going to click on wallpaper pair. And even if you don't like to, it to be blurry, you can unblur it like this. So you have the same picture, but it's just not going to be blurry. So it's up to you to decide how uh, your wallpaper are supposed to, is supposed to look. But once you're happy, just hit done and that's it. So this is the next wallpaper pair. This is what it looks like. The old one is here. The new one is here. So when I come back to my home screen, this is what my home screen looks like. When I swipe down to the uh, notification panel or lock screen, I can hold down anywhere and swipe it back to the original one if I want. And right now when I unlock it, this is what it looks like. So I can switch it between those. This is the point of wallpaper pairs. So this is how it works. You can unlock it and that's okay. So this is how you can customize and change the wallpaper of your iPhone 15 running iOS 17. The wallpaper pairs work exactly like this. So definitely something to keep in mind and to know about. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found it useful, hit the thumbs up. 
but definitely join the Fox Tech educational platform down below. It is free to do so. The link is right there and inside you can find in-depth iPhone guides. For example, you start to download apps from the App Store. I believe it's absolutely crucial to know and get the walk walkthrough of the App Store, how exactly it works, what the options are, or how you can set up the iPhone properly. So many different things for you to check out there. It's free to join again. So thanks a lot for watching for now, and I will see you in the future.